Hi, my name is Robin Bremer, and if you're watching on iTunes, you are watching Feed My People Joy. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, this program is called Walks with God. Today I'm going to share with you, uh, God woke me up and asked me to share with you Heaven's view of Halloween. <clears throat> Basically, many people think that when you mention Halloween and God in the same sentence that they're going to hear about how bad Halloween is and why we shouldn't celebrate it. Or they're going to think that they're going to hear a lecture on the true history and meaning behind Halloween. But that's not what I want to share with you today. Today I'm going to share with you Heaven's view of Halloween. And even if you're not a Christian um, and you love Halloween, this is going to delight you. Okay. Um, when I take, okay, when I take a look at the celebration of Halloween, I start it by walking through my neighborhood and taking pictures of how people decorate for Halloween, and also went into the local stores and looked at the things, um, movies, and things they have for sale for Halloween. Um, basically, these are this is what I saw. Okay, death, sickness with oozing sores, injuries, body parts with blood, guts, and gore, distorted and mutinated bodies, snakes, <laughs> spiders, spider webs, murder, ghosts, demons, devils, tombstones, witches, warlocks, Satan, black cats, pumpkins with scary faces, skeletons, Freddy Cougar masks, um, uh, revengeful things, sacrifices, uh, swords and weapons, nightmares, Bodies with no heads, voices with no bodies, bloody cut off heads, hands that grab at you, decomposing bodies, maggots, worms, and hell. That is the basic overall things that I've seen uh, in study, looking at what people do about Halloween, movies that come out, um, and the things they decorate with. So basically, the theme is darkness, fear, revenge, hate, murder, and anger. Now, the average Christian might say that Halloween is a celebration of Satan and the devil, but what I want to show you is what heaven sees when it looks at Halloween. Okay, um, and these, this article that I'm sharing with you right now that I've written will be on my blog spot, which is um, Feed My People Joy blog spot, and also on my website. Um, well, I don't know, maybe it won't be on my website. It'll be on my blog spot, though. Um, and you, okay, so let's get back to this. So let's look at the first theme of Halloween, which is death. Okay, where did death come from, and why is it here? To find the answer to that question, I needed to go to the Bible, the most reliable source of information. In Romans 5.12, it tells us that death entered the world through one man's sin, and death spread to all men. Okay, that's important to know. And in first, um, Corinthians 15 26 the Bible says that death is an enemy now look at John 10 10 it says the thief the devil comes to kill steal and destroy but I came to give life and to give it more abundantly so from heaven's point of view man is getting ripped off because Jesus came and paid the price so we could have abundant life now let's take a look at other things about Halloween sickness disease injury and pain how did that get into our lives? In Genesis 3, the devil deceived Adam and Eve by getting them to sin, and they ate from the wrong tree, which allowed the devil to take over man's given authority and right to rule on the earth. So the devil is now the author of all sickness, disease, anything that comes to kill, steal, and destroy, which is John 10.10. 10. The result of the original sin of eating from that tree is sickness, disease, fear, death, pain, sorrow, destroying weathers and animals and plants. Because when man fell and the cursor curse came into the earth and the earth was cursed because of the cursor, the animal kingdom and the plant kingdom also fell. So take a look for yourself at the curses which is which are in Deuteronomy twenty eight and you will be fascinated to see all the things that we are no longer supposed to allow to happen to us. Now Satan himself is called the cursor excuse me, the destroyer, deceiver, liar, thief, accuser, and murderer. The good news is that when Jesus came to the earth, he got stripes or whips or beating on his back for every sickness and disease that's on the earth so you wouldn't have to be sick. He legally paid the price for our sin and legally paid the price for sickness and disease so you don't have to receive it. 
in Galatians 3.13, it says that Christ redeemed us from the curse. So when heaven looks at Halloween's celebration of pain, sickness, grief, sorrow, death, it's saddened because the price has been paid. So nobody has to ever die of cancer, car accidents, sickness, disease, or have sorrow, pain, or grief. Okay, now, fear is a major component of Halloween. <clears throat> Where is the first place that fear came on the earth? Again, we have to look to the Bible. Adam and Eve walked with God daily in Genesis 3. But after they ate from the tree of the knowledge, which means experiential knowledge of good and evil, they were afraid. They experienced evil. They were afraid of God's presence and hid themselves. Fear is a spirit. It's not just a feeling. In 2 Timothy 1.7 it says, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but love, power, and a sound mind. Every horror show opens the door for the spirit of fear. Fear is a spirit and it's called bondage and it's from the devil. It always opens the, the door to your life, to other areas of your life. Now fear comes from not believing God truly cares for us and when we know that God loves us and we can trust him no matter what happens he'll take care of us then we will be able to walk in God's love and we won't be full of fear because God has given us a spirit of adoption so that we wouldn't when we have the spirit of adoption, we don't fear because we know that our daddy will take care of us. Now, when heaven looks at Halloween, it says, Heaven says, God did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him freely give us all things? And that's Romans 8.32. Now, how did he do this? Romans 3.23 says, All have sinned. Romans 6.23 says, The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is life. Romans 10.16 says that anybody, everybody, you, me, anybody, everybody, who calls in the name of the Lord will be saved. Now say this prayer with me right now. Heavenly Father, I call on the name of Jesus. I want everything that you paid for me to have. Thank you for forgiving me of my sins. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and take away all my fear and give me peace. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, when heaven looks down, it's smiling because you have accepted the free gift. My name is Robin Bremer, and you can subscribe to me on iTunes as Feed My People Joy. You can also purchase my book, by the same title, Feed My People Joy, Kingdom Living for End Times, at your local Christian bookstore. And you can order it through other bookstores, but it's the cheapest um, ordering it through Amazon.com. And you can get more teaching and uh, free teaching and free downloads, uh, witnessing tools, uh, teaching tools, uh, all kinds of awesome stuff. If you go to my website, uh, Ribbons the Clown, www.ribbonsoftheclown.com. And that's it for today. I hope that you see Halloween in a different light um, from heaven's view and we'll talk to you in the next couple of days.